in the previous lesson we learned how to do git clone and how to do git commit and push your changes to remote repository with our vs code now in this lesson i want to show you how you can pull any data from your git repository so let's say any of your colleague they added a new file into this git repository so in our test project let's say somebody else added a new file so let's add a new file first so create new file and this would be test2.html and let's just say test test on this file just some test file and then commit changes commit your changes and now in your repository you can see test2.html file as well so in the repository you have a new file but if you go back to your vs code you would be seeing only three files because we don't have the new file which just got added in the repository so how do we get this new file to get that new file all you have to do is go to the source control click on these three dots and then you have this pull option so in command you have git pull command but in vs code we have this git pull option itself through which you can get latest data from your repository so just click on pull and git will pull the latest code from your repository so all you have to do is go back to this explorer window and now you can see test2.html file in your local repository as well so if you want to add a new file you can create new file and to push it to remote repository you will use the push command you will use this push option but if anything new is created in your remote repository then to get it in local you have to use the pull command so git pull and git push are the two main commands you need to use to keep your repository in sync with your remote repository now till now if you have noticed we have only worked on one branch which is main branch what if you want to create a new branch let's say you want to create a new feature for your project then you need to create a new feature branch so to create a new branch you can create it from your git website like if you click over here you you can see this view all branches and over here you have this new branch option so click on this and you can enter your branch name and it will create a new branch or if you want to do it from vs code you can just go to your vs code and in the source code tab just click on this three options and then in the bottom you'll see this branch option and then in this branch you have all these options and the option which we are looking for is create branch so click on this and then give your branch name so i would say feature branch i would say feature one and then just click enter and this will create a feature branch so now if you see the commit message over here it is now changed to enter to commit on feature one branch so this feature one branch is now created from your main branch so it has all the changes from the main branch but now any new changes which you will do those changes will be in this new branch only in the feature branch not in the main branch and you can see at the bottom left over here is the new selected branch now and if you click on it you will see all these options you can from here also you can create a new branch you can create a new branch from any other branch or you can switch between branch so we have two options one is feature branch and one is main branch so in whatever branch you want to go you can go from here or we can get that same option if we go to this source control and this three dots and then check out two and you can check out to any of these two branch so right now we have only two branch feature branch and main branch so you can switch between these two branch but let's stay in feature branch and now the feature branch is created in your local only it is not in the remote repository so if you go to remote repository in your all branch section you will only see main branch if you just refresh it you will only see main branch feature branch is not there so to get the feature branch over here you need to publish your branch so here if you see we have this publish branch option so just click on it and this will publish the branch from your local to remote and now if you go to your remote repository just refresh it and you should see one more branch which is feature one branch and in this branch if you have any changes let's say you create a new file so in the vs code in the explorer if you create a new file over here let's say 
test3.html and just say test3 right here and now we have a new file created in the feature branch and if you go to source control and just click on this plus icon to add it into git and then enter your commit message add it to feature branch and then click on commit and then sync changes click on ok and now test3.html is added to feature branch so now if you go to feature branch just click on this feature one branch and you should see that you have test3.html file added in your feature branch if you change it to main branch from here if you click over here you will have option to go back to main branch so if you click on this in the main branch you don't have test3.html because feature branch is different from main branch feature branch changes are only in the feature branch and main branch changes are in main branch so in the feature branch we have test3.html in the main branch we don't have test3.html now how do we get feature branch changes to main branch for that we have another command called merge and that we will see in the next video how to do merge and then how to resolve conflict as well so let's say somebody else does any changes in the same file and you also do changes in the same file and then both of you try to commit and push those changes in your repository that can create conflict and we'll see how to resolve that conflict and how to perform merge operation as well in the next video thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.